Morning. All right, you've heard the expression, think outside the box, right? But do you apply it to your job and your life? Stephanie Steidel, originally from Greenwich, is a founder of The Right Brain Entrepreneur. She's here to talk more about her unique approach and how it could help even you. Good morning to you. Thanks for coming morning. in, Stephanie. Thank you. So, first of all, what exactly is right brain thinking? It's certainly something we've heard tossed around, but explain it for us. Yeah, so my concept of right brain thinking is very much out of the box, but um, our brain is actually divided into two hemispheres, okay. the left and the right. And um, my theory is that most of us are trained to use more of a left brain process, which is very linear, verbal, just like I'm talking with you right now, formulaic. Right brain thinking is what I would say is visual thinking, outside of the box, a different perspective, and it's also very hands-on. It's just a, a different way of processing information. So where did this concept uh, come from for you? And then help us understand how this can help some of the services that you offer. Sure. So the concept came from my profession as an art therapist. So I am very educated in the psychology of creativity and the neuroscience behind you know the creative process and doing you know art making or just anything hands-on and then you know in terms of how it helps other people in the processes that I do or the the workshops that I offer you know what it is is just taking on it's basically tapping to a part of our brain that we don't normally use and so how it helps people it's you become more productive more effective more fulfill it, fulfilled um, just naturally because what you're doing is you're tapping into this very emotive creative part of our brain that we're just not used to using. Now, Oprah fans will know this next uh, term because it's something that she just swears by. Yeah. Vision board workshop. Yes. You use that as well. Yes. First of all, explain that and how does that work here? Okay, so the vision board workshop is one of my more popular uh, workshops. So what I do is I have um, people choose images. So you don't okay. have to be an artist for any of my workshops. Like what's an image, for example? So an image from a magazine. Okay. You know, some people like to look up images on Google and then print those out. But I all think right, so you know, anything. any, any okay. image. Yeah. But it would be an image that calls to you or creates an emotion for you. So I always tell people to actually not think too much about the images that they choose. And they're looking for things that, you know, represent their vision or their dreams or something that they want in their future. And then they put that together on a collage or like on a poster board. Mm -hmm. and, um, and really it opens up a whole new awareness for them about the things that are really important to them. And I'm also trained in looking at the different imagery and how to put them together so that they can get even more insight out of it. So they're probably surprised even by some of the results. Like exactly. they're realizing, like you say, things about themselves that are coming out in a way they didn't necessarily expect. Exactly. Is this for everyone? I mean, who does this work for? It does. It works for everyone. Um, but I usually find that the people that are in transition or looking to figure out what's next for them, tend to really love the vision board workshop. Um, but all of my workshops, you know, it could be used for team building, you know, increasing communication, um, and just, it's also a really fun process. So anyone that's just looking for a break or looking for something that's gonna bring a little bit more joy, just the process itself can be really relaxing. What was your process? So being from Connecticut, did yeah. being from here and, and being raised in Greenwich impact your career in any way or lead you down this path? Absolutely, uh, I'd say a couple of things. The first was I was fortunate enough to go to a school that had an amazing arts program. As I got older, I realized that this is actually very rare. So I'm really passionate about keeping the arts in the education mm -hmm. system. So my idea is that if I can educate adults on why it's so important to tap into this, that then we'll be a little bit more passionate about keeping it in our education system. Also, I grew up in Greenwich, and there's a lot of very successful people there that uh, make a living in finance. And there's this idea that we need to work really hard and think in a particular way in order to be successful, but then we end up burning ourselves out. Right. So I'm really about creating balance and the importance of why you need to play a little bit, why you need to be creative, because it's actually some of our best ideas come out when we're actually not working. <laughs> and so often we're just not tapping into both sides of our brain. Exactly. Like you said, we're leaning on that left, let's use more of the right. Exactly. Fascinating. Thanks yeah. for coming in Absolutely. and explaining Thank you. this. Uh, the website, very quickly, trbe.org if yes. you want to check out more. Yes, Stephanie, Thank thanks. You.